Good morning, family. It's Chaplin, and this Monday, that means it's time for another Monday morning manna moment. And hey, here is the word of the Lord for you today. Philippians chapter 4, verse 8. Paul says, finally, brothers, whatever is true, whatever is noble, whatever is right, whatever is pure, whatever is lovely, whatever is admirable, if anything is excellent or praiseworthy, hey, think on these things. What a word, family. Paul here in these exhortations, exhortations is encouraging the church of Philippi to dwell on those things that are pleasing to God and that are what's really important. So let's look at them again. Whatever is true. He's saying whatever is right to do. He's encouraging them to think on these things. Whatever is noble. Paul here wants us to lift up justice and righteousness in the earth. Whatever is right. He's encouraging us here to think on those things and do those things and not pursue anything that's wrong. Whatever is pure. Here, he wants us to think on those things that will bring God honor. How we think about others, our actions toward them. He's saying whatever is lovely. I love this one here. This means those thoughts that are laced with gentleness and loveliness. He's saying, let those be useful to you. Whatever is admirable. Paul is encouraging them here to think on those things that are of good report. And then he says, if anything is excellent or praiseworthy, think about such things. I believe that this text is teaching us how to have the mind of Christ. Wow. So if we change our thinking, then definitely our behaviors will follow. This has been a Monday morning man of moment. I'm your chaplain, and I thank God for you. Can I pray for you now? Let's pray. Our Father and our God, thank you for reminding us about the mind of Christ and these powerful jewels that Paul gives to us in Philippians chapter 4, verse 8. May we dwell on these things. May we commit them to memory. May we practice them as a holy community that we would serve you, serve one another, serve our students with excellence so that God, your name may be glorified. Thank you for Wheaton College, our faculty, our staff, our administration, our trustees, but most of all, our students that you have entrusted us with. We love you, Lord, and we bless your name. In Jesus' name, we pray. Thank God. Amen. Hey, family, thank you for watching today. The honor of my life is being your chaplain. May the Lord bless you and keep you. Peace.